Today I'm going to be talking about how to achieve Alan Holdsworth's tone. What I'm going to be using is S-Gear. I really like this software because of the rich tone. It's my favorite thing to use. But you can do this with a lots of different software, or you can do it with an actual amp, or with another modeler. It's your choice. This can be achieved with a lots of different uh, softwares or hardware, etc. So if you look here, this Wayfarer amp is based on a Blackface Twin. You don't have to have that specific amp, but you just need something that's clean. Something if you hit the strings hard, it won't distort. So anything will be okay. What I would do is try to set it where there's a good amount of treble and presence for this clean tone. And the main thing is you just want it to have lots of high end. So also, Alan Holdsworth usually uses the bridge pickup, so use the bridge pickup and uh, keep your tone all the way up for this clean tone. I'll play it now without any effects on it. So that's what it sounds like with no effects. So hopefully you can hear what that sounds like. It's nothing particular particularly special but this thing that gives Alan his tone is the delays so if you look here it has a 25 millisecond delay and it's in stereo which is really important it has to be in stereo the mix is pretty high and another important thing is the modulation here so this gives it that kind of chorus sound so I'll play it once with no short delay Okay, now I'm going to turn the short delay on so you can hear that. So what you probably heard was that chorusing sound, which makes it count, sound softer, but you also heard the uh, stereo width it gave it, and that's because of the stereo delay. Now if you look down under it, you see the next delay at 416 milliseconds. This is also a stereo delay. Um, mix is a little bit less and it also has modulation, although the modulation is a little bit different. So I'll let you hear it once, without the long delay. Now with the long delay. So as you can hear, this is modulated too. This maybe has a little bit too much modulation, if you ask me, but it's not too far off. Uh, that extra delay here, the long delay, gives it more depth to the sound. And last thing here, you see the room thing, which is reverb. This is in parallel. So one thing that's good is to kind of put it in parallel so they're not running one into each other. But if you do, it's not such a big deal. Um, this is set on the resonant delay setting, so it won't sound like a reverb. It sounds like a bunch of delays. Uh, as you can see here, I have 53 millisecond pre-delay, and then I have uh, 10, uh, or I have the motion depth set to 10 and the motion rate set to 10. These are like the modulation settings, so it gives it that chorusy sound. You can see the other settings right here, and the mix is high just because it's in parallel, so it has to be higher than normal. I'll play it once with no room thing on. Now I'll add the room thing. So that gave it a little bit of air and a little bit more motion. I'm not sure how well that's going to come through over this mic and over YouTube, but I'll put these patches on the S gear forum so you can download them if you have an S gear and if you don't try something like this with your own uh, software or hardware add between maybe two or, or sorry three or four delays if you can so that would be like eight independent delays which I mean like stereo delays so like four on the left side four on the right side and if you can get some modulation going it'll sound even better if you don't have uh, enough, like instead of this short delay, you can try using a chorus pedal. It's not exactly the same, but it'll give you a similar feel. Anyway, 
on to the next one, which is Holdsworth's 90s lead. So before this video started, you probably heard this. The little intro song was me playing with this exact patch. So this one uses quite a bit of gain. This is like similar to like a, I don't know, Mesa Boogie Mark IV or Mark V, so it's really gainy. Uh, I'm using different cabinets. I'm using 4x12s. And basically everything else is about the same. Um, I'll let you hear it once completely dry with no effects. Sorry about that, a few bum notes there, but you can hear how it basically sounds. It sounds nothing like Holdsworth. Um, what you want to do is get a sound that is very saturated but doesn't have a fizzy high end. You don't want that fizzy high end. But make sure it does have some treble and high end. And what you want to do is roll down the tone control on your guitar. Don't turn down the treble on the amp. So here I'll take my tone control and I'll gradually turn it down. That's the tone control completely off. Now I'll turn it up and try to find a happy medium. I think that's about right. Uh, lots of bum notes there, but generally that's the tone you want. Now go down to the delay. This is just like I explained before in the clean tone video. I'll let you listen to it without the delay first. Now with that short delay. Okay, so you can hear that kind of like mid-range. It's coming from this delay, that Holdsworth mid-range you hear him always have. Uh, it comes from the stereo delay, so make sure you have a stereo delay. That'll This short stereo delay will give you a lot of the sound. Next, move to the long delay, and it's the same as what I showed you before. The only difference between the clean sound and the dirty sound is you'll notice there's no modulation happening. You don't want too much modulation on the dirty sound. You don't want it to sound too coarsed. Anyway, here it is with no long delay. Now with the long delay. So you notice that ex that added a little bit of uh, extra depth to it. Sounds kind of nice. And the last thing, the resonant delay. This is the same as the clean sound, just less motion depth and rate, so it doesn't have as much of a coarse sound. But you still do want a little bit. Uh, so here it is without the room thing. Here it is with the room thing. And that's basically the sound. So, like I said before, the intro video used this sound, so if you want to hear how it sounds, rewind the video and you can hear it. The third patch I made is the modern lead sound, and this is the sound he had, or he has now, and he's been using this since about 16 min of Tane onwards. As you can see here in S gear, I'm using mode 1, or lead 1, as opposed to lead 2, so it has less gain. This is kind of like a Mesa Boogie Mark 2, and everything else should be the same. It just has less gain, and the speaker cabinets are different. They're using a 1x12 with ribbon mic, so it's a lot warmer. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so that's the basic idea. And at the end of the video, I'll play another clip using the clean tone and this lead tone so you can see how it sounds in a mix. I know some of you are saying, 
if I don't have S gear, how am I supposed to do this? This seems really complicated, and it seems like it can only be done in S gear. But that's not true. So let me turn these off, and I'll show you how to do this if you don't have S gear. So, we move over to this page, and I'm going to open up a delay. This delay is called Delay 8. It's made by Tone Carver. This is actually a free uh, VST you can find. It doesn't cost you anything, and it can do eight separate delay lines. So this is how Alan Holdsworth actually does it. He uses eight separate delays in stereo. And I'll show you one here. This is the Holdsworth lead patch I made. Let me set it up here. Here's what the uh, modern lead sounds with sounds like with no effects. Here's what it sounds like with this delay. So that's basically the the sound there. If you're wondering where did I get all the settings for this, like delay, like what time for each delay, if you go and you search for the Yamaha UD Stomp, look for the manual, and the manual has a bunch of presets that Alan Holdsworth made for the UD Stomp. And that's pretty much his sound right there. I just copied those and put them in here. Although they're not exactly the same, because the settings for the modulations and things can't be duplicated exactly. I tried to do it by ear to get it as close as I could. I think it sounds fairly decent and fairly like what he actually sounds like. And I'll show you the clean sound too so you can hear what that sounds like. Let me disable these delays quickly. I'll switch to the clean sound I made. Holds with clean. And I'll let you hear that. Sorry, I'm messing up a lot of these riffs, but um, hopefully it sounds all right and you can understand how to make these. So that's just about it. As I said before, I'll uh, at the end of this video, you can hear what the clean sound for S gear sounds like and the uh, modern lead sound sounds like. If you have any questions or anything you want to ask, leave it below in comments. If you want to know about anything like what are those chords you're playing or etc, leave it below. I might make another video. But I hope this helped. Anyways, thanks. Bye.